I know. Failure defeats losers. Failure inspires winners. By Robert T. Kiyosaki. Failure. A word you've added negatively into our dictionary. It is something we try so hard to block it from our lives or even pretend we've never encountered it before. Let me remind you what failure forces Google me. And I quote, lack of success. I used to think that failing would never get me to succeed. It would constantly tell us what went wrong or how far we are from reaching our potential. But what if we redefine the word failure from lack of, but closer to success? When I was in preschool, I was taught by my mother. She taught me to abolish the word failure from my vocabulary. Everything I did was always the best, and I was comfortable with that lifestyle. I would always strive to be the first in class, and that's the only thing I was wired to do. Time flowed, and soon I found myself entering GMI, and it was here where I was challenged, and suddenly it became fun to be the top of the class. Every time we had a new project, I would always declare myself as the leader and be very bossy so that things would go my way. It was always my way or the highway. But yes, my way never failed when we just became started. I was proud of all the competitions I win. All the time, I came home with a gold card plastered on my test, assignment, or homework. I was proud to make my parents proud of me because it was originally them who pushed me to be the best. And I brought this mindset with me as I began to climb the ladder, grade by grade, until one day during a parent teacher meeting in the fourth grade. When you've constantly been the best at school, failure doesn't seem like an option because it will ruin your pride and reputation. But when you do end up failing, especially for the first time, it hurts hard. You work so hard just to end up at home crying to yourself. To everyone, failure means something different. To me, it was a constant reminder of where I fall short. But to those who have succeeded after multiple failures, they look at it with a different perspective. They look back at failures and learn and fix all their mistakes they found. They stop believing when their mind said, I can't do it anymore. It is so hard. They took all the reasons that, they made, that made them fail and turned them into their strength. And that is what I believe is called successful failure. There was always a sense of fear that somehow worked its way into society. Nobody takes failing lightly, especially when you fail at something that you're passionate about. I made myself believe that I would never succeed. I would always give up the first time when I fail or when things get so hard. I would never give my 100%. This is why I have multiple failed hobbies, because how can you be bad at something that brings you happiness? But the problem was, I would create such high expectation around myself whenever I start anything new. For example, winning a chess competition after a week of learning chess. But after years of failure and crying myself to sleep, I finally learned the reason why I kept failing. That being average was a choice. That is what a lot of people do not understand. It is your choice to willingly let go of all the expectations that you surround yourself with. It is your choice to realize that you suck at something and that is okay. And that is where you will discover all your strengths and weaknesses and breaking points. And once you have them all laid out for you to recognize and understand, that is where you start to grow. And when you start opening yourself up to more opportunities and trying to learn from your mistakes, you will start to realize that you will fail a lot more. But just because you've learned to be okay with it doesn't mean you will never experience it anymore. And no matter how many times you fail, you always have to forgive yourself. Despite contrary beliefs, dwelling on and reading over your own faults doesn't ever help you to grow into, into who you want to be. It is like gardening. 
If your flower isn't blooming the way you want it to, you don't rip out its leaves and furnish them to feel satisfied with. You recognize the problem and figure out what's wrong with the environment so you can learn to modify it, giving the flower the chance to bloom in its own time. So every time you fail, you must always remember to forgive yourself and accept failure. And then, after you accept it, learn the mistake while you fail, so that you can prevent it from happening in the future. And if it's anything you need to believe in these days, it should be your own resilience. No matter how hard you're working, you must always dream of the best version of yourself into existence. Because sometimes you're all that you have, no matter the thousands of people that help you to do something or learn a skill, it's just you who have to put in the effort. And sometimes that's all you ever need. And I hope that 10 years from now, you can look back and say that you created your life, you didn't settle for it. I quote, Rome wasn't built in an hour, but they were laying bricks every day. You don't have to lay a brick. You just have to... Oh. I thought, Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour. You don't have to do everything you want today. Just lay a brick by James Clear. Thank you.